Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show the Father we appreciate. God's good, God's good, God's good. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show the Father we appreciate. God's good. God's good, God's good, God's good, God's good, God's good. Yeah, Mike Tyson Morning Show. Tell your mama now. Hey, y'all, good morning. It's the Mike Tyson Morning Show. Good morning, everybody. Woo. What a day. I'm going to reconfigure my little device here because it got me looking off to the side because you know my camera instead of it being like this right it's like this so that that puts the screen the little camera over to the side so although i'm looking straight ahead it looks like i'm talking to a fellow over in the corner okay so as we get a little bit more juice i get more battery i'm gonna flip the thing uh flippity dibbit so it's upright but right now you got to look at me from a slant and an angle Woo! good morning y'all <laughs> now listen it's good friday all Fridays, good Friday to me. If I wake up, that's one damn good Friday. You know, I can handle it from that. But this is good Friday. That means Easter's a few days away. And um, what does a Cadbury bunny have to do with anything? I don't know. But I can't make it through Easter without eating one. I need one of them. You know, the ones at Creamfield, those are off the chain. And this is real deep, too, because, you know, only it's only 18 days ago that I... Um, that I gave Jesus Christ uh, my heart, my soul. I've been giving it to him anyway, but I accepted him as my savior. And I mean, I've always been a man of God, but to actually say the words, Jesus Christ, I accept you as my savior. And this guy has been restoring me since the beginning of time for me to finally say the words out loud meant a lot to me. I don't know if it meant anything to y'all, but I know one thing, I have never lived such a perfect life. And, and who's perfect? Nobody or nothing. But I am having the time of my life, married to the most incredible woman on the planet. Hey, Sonya, I know you're watching, baby. Today is day one, one for this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'm keeping up with the days. And uh, it's only 49 days till we shoot the greatest comedy special in the history of laughter. We're doing that May 17th out on Venice Beach. But let's back up to the photo that I started with. Why did we start with that photo? Because look at the smile on that little girl's face. She's got my new book. Oh, okay, maybe that's too far. Let me get a little closer. Look at that, look at that look on her face, little sweet potato. We was at a restaurant and, and her mom saw that I had the books and the girl smiled so much I had to give her one. So as y'all know, my book is going fast. It's, it's selling really well. It's called Little Bobby White. Uh, I, I I call it Bobby White, but I, I made the kid black. Ah, uh, okay. Because it's not about the color. It's about the story. And the story is very clear. It's the story of a little boy who always wins because he always chooses to do the right thing. And this really blew me away because this young lady is Selena Albright's daughter. Now, Selena Albright is the daughter of the fabulous saxophone player Gerald Albright, right? In fact, her mama coming on the show next week because she makes her own waffles and batters. So we'll bring her on next week. But I got to show you Selena's daughter, and she wrote me and said that this child insists on having a book read to her two and three times a day. Look, let's look at her. She that, that she sleeps with it. She says she insists on sleeping with it and that her mama reads it to her two or three times. I'm just... I don't know. I'm tickled that people like the book that much. So, sorry. Love it. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. Wonderful and kind and great. So, let's show our Father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. Did y'all miss me? Y'all gone for a minute. Okay. Yeah. No, what happened is, I'm, you know, I'm in a hotel. And sometimes this dog on thing just does whatever it wants to do. I think we set now. We are set and wrecked. 
could go. Let's get started. Let me quit fooling sir, around. Let me bring it up. Sorry, sir. Yeah. How are you doing? Can you please acknowledge the loss? Sorry, I'm not pushing that button. What happened? The, the miss the comment, please, because I'm not going to be okay unless you acknowledge that. Acknowledge what? The comment. Oh, my wife. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I woke her up this morning and I was saying, am I in some kind of a dream? You know, this show I've been wanting to do my entire life is right at my fingertips. In fact, the company, a corporation might be considered one of our first sponsors is sending a new check today. So we're going to get enough money to shoot the dream that I've been had forever. First of all, I get up in the morning and I look and I got a stack of my own books that I'm selling. I'm in love with the greatest woman on the planet. My life has gotten better every day since I met her 18 months ago. So I woke up this morning almost in a fog and I called my baby and I said, girl, are we dreaming? She just opened her newest restaurant. It's big and beautiful. Last night we had open mic over there. She had, man, it was packed up in there. Everything we're touching. It's like go. We're manifesting like crazy. We think we want something that shows up. Are we in a dream? I don't know, but wherever we are, it's rock and roll, and I'm sticking with it. Let me bring my co-hosts in because there's no worse death than being talked to death. And besides, we got a big show, and we got to stop right on time at 11 because I have to do radio here in Atlanta because we're doing five shows. Me and my co-host Katie, and um, uh, Dick Gregory's nephew, Mark Gregory, the three of us are doing Uptown Comedy Corner this weekend. Two shows tonight, two shows Saturday, one Sunday. You got five opportunities to miss us in Atlanta. So let me get my co-host on. First of all, the lovely uh, uh, Katie, Katie Funny AF. Come on, girl, talk to us. Let us know what you're talking about. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You changed everything for me. Huh? You just changed everything. How? Because everything, when I, when I came in, I was not normal Katie, right? You were not. You were not. Because I was in a horrible mood, a horrible funk. I overslept. I was in Atlanta. I don't know if you've ever been to Atlanta's airport. The tram shut down. Crazy. And they thought I was going to walk from my, to the bags. <laughs> I, tried. I tried. I did. I attempted. And in the middle, I quit. <laughs> Everybody else just was gonna do it, and they said, "What do you mean you quit? You can't quit." I said, "No, I'm not doing it. I'm not carrying ten pounds a bag, where they pay millions of dollars for a tram that they obviously need it, and think that I'm gonna walk with ten pounds of bags. I'm not that kind of girl." Girl, that's a long story with no jokes in it. Look, I let's, quit. Bring, let's bring on the other co-host. I literally quit. quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. And black looks good on you. Because that hair, and it, it just, it pops. Okay, and my other co-host is with the absolute most is Straya Black. Straya Black is funny. Come on in, Straya. Booty woo woo. I work here, sorry. Okay, I hit the button in, baby. We can't be waiting on you now. There she is. Hey, Straya, how you doing? Good morning, guys. Good morning. I like how the pink. I'm getting my hat. Okay. I like the pink so, hat. I didn't know you were doing I, it. Like today, that. today is the last day for us because today, we, it's Friday. We do the morning show Monday through Friday. So right. this is the last day to tribute to Women's Month. So all the women on the show, this is for you and all the other women that I know. So I'm going to read this. And then after I read it, I want Michael to play the video. Okay? All right. All right. March. Oh, look. I got a microphone. Come on with it. You. It looks like something else. It's a, it's a flashlight. <laughs> You don't know what it looked like. We're going oh, ahead. I know, I know, I know, but it's a flashlight. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Okay. March has, has been proclaimed as Women's History Month in the U.S. During this entire month, women who have contributed in history, mm -hmm. culture, and society are observed. Therefore, mm -hmm. it is only fitting that I take time in this opportunity to spotlight women on the morning show who deserve to be recognized during the Women's History Month 2024. As I reflect on the letters in Michael Collier's name, I think of attributes starting with these letters that exemplifies the impact that these women have had on my life during the tenure on The Morning Show. So today, I shout out Sonia, Miss Elaine, Dr. Sabrina, Susie Landoffy, Malira, Neela, Katie, Chef Angela, Rosa wow. Ray, Miss Paulette, Malika, Selena J, and 
uh, Miss Smith, Aunt Teresa, and your mama. Go ahead and play the video. Woo! Okay, here we go. We are What did you think, guys? That was beautiful. Woo! You know, and if you watch the show regularly, it really meant a lot because you in there. You enjoyed your part. I take it, Katie, funny AF? Yes. Everybody, did, let me tell you something. I did this because I've learned so much from each one of these women. Um, Dr. Sabrina with such strong and empowering words. Malira has mm -hmm. taught me to listen more. Chef Angela has taught me to be more patient. Katie has taught me to be more bold. Um, um, Miss Elaine has taught me to be quirky and still, you know, <laughs> and have fun. Nila has taught me to be prideful of who you are and where you came from. Wow. Um, and Sonia, it's so many levels of what I've just watched. And I, I haven't been around her that many times. But just her, her daughter, my birthday twin. So I know if she could put up with a birthday twin like me, she's special. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Sister Paulette for all the encouraging words. So each one of them, um, Dr. Susie, who's proud. So again, each in Rosa May, creative, strong. She always has such mm. beautiful words. So that was for, you know, all the people, uh, Miss Smith, uh, your Aunt Teresa, who come. I can't believe you, know? you found a picture of my mom that was the actual video piece of my mom. That yeah, was so a you, fabulous aunt. And so this is the last thing. So I put your name. Remember, I said Michael mm -hmm. Collier. So listen to what I did. Okay. These women, because you two are com contributors of Women's History Month for you. So I said your name. Okay. So Michael, okay. masterful, impressive, courageous, heavenly, acclaimed, <laughs> empowering, legendary. That's Michael. Call your constant, optimistic, loyal, young at heart, amicable, and reliable. So these ladies are with Michael Call Your Show and his name. I you I exemplify and use that you know uh, characteristics of what yes. they do. Yeah, so great That's job, it. mama. Great job, great job. Let me see what I think Katie was kind of moved. <laughs> ah, yeah. Katie was moved. Ah, uh, yeah. But you got to take your crotch. You got to get your crotch out the camera, though. This is a family show, okay? <laughs> that was so not my crotch. That was my that. foot. They just look the same. Oh, my God. If your crotch look like a foot, I don't know what your life would <laughs> be like. All right. Okay, we got to move, Mom. I love you. I appreciate that. Great tribute to, to women. And I love how you put Susie Landolfi in because she is certainly a sister of this show. Uh, you didn't I, even I, see Miss Elaine or my mama. The video went so fast, you didn't even get to see them. But it's okay. It, you have it now. <laughs> huh? I'm running yeah. again to look at it later. But we're on such a tight clock. We got to go, guys. Yeah, All yeah. right. Because we six minutes past when we spoke, bring that comedian on. Our first comedian is ready. And since you out of it, I should probably hit I that button. But hit that button. When you hit the pow, you go boom. And all of a sudden, cow, we out of here. You go, check on That's right, folks. It's time for Michael Callier's Comedy Corner. Come on, somebody. Some of the funniest comedians on the planet has been on this show. Over 400 comics have done their dance right here at the Comedy Corner. It's going to be funny. I'll tell you right now, if you ain't funny, whoo! It's going to be a long walk back to your car. We're going to talk about you. Ooh, we're going to say some terrible stuff. You're going to hate us. So you better be good because it's the Michael Kaye Comedy Corner. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, y'all. And on March 29th, which is today, it's Friday, this is our 788th show. So we put over 700 comedians on this morning's show. So I'm so happy to have had so much a flow for the comedians. This boy here, kind of special, because he went to my comedy classes. And, boy, and I tell you, the boy wasn't shit. Uh, when he came <laughs> to comedy classes, I was like, oh, Lord, this is, whew, my work is cut out for me. Uh, and then this dude is rising and rising. He came on the, the Grammy the Grammathon last Sunday and tore it up. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see his work. Get your hands together for Katash. <laughs> what up, player? Good well, morning. Well, bloop, 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 bloop. What's up, man? What's up? Good morning. <laughs> Good to see y'all, man. Man, hey, hey look, look, y'all. Uh, uh, so it's the Inner Women's uh, Month, and I just want to say, uh, you know, God bless y'all. Uh, that was a beautiful display right there. Y'all yeah. looking good yeah. too, man. Y'all, this show right here look way better than it used to be. I, you know, <laughs> way better. Than it used to be. Look way better. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, y'all looking good. I'm looking good. I look like a, uh, you know, a, a broke ass Kurt Franklin. Uh, you know, <laughs> GP is your witness. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Hey, you know, I want to talk to the brothers out there, including you, Jeff. You white, but you still a brother. Look, yes. Um, we got to start protecting our women a lot better, man. Uh, protecting our women, you know what I'm saying? I, myself, I protect my women because you know I'm a I'm a proud father. Mm -hmm. I'm a proud stepfather, and I've been married for 16 years. <laughs> you know, yeah, but not to the same woman though. Can't protect all of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've been a step baby daddy three times. You know, <laughs> yeah. All my ex wives like cheating. My second wife, she would get more women than me. You know, she, yeah, she's pansexual, panoramic, pandemic. Everything got to do with a pan. <laughs> That's the only thing she wouldn't do. You know, well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I was in an open marriage. But oh. didn't nobody tell me. You know, I, <laughs> yeah. I found out on Craigslist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm on Craigslist, y'all. Y'all check this out. Like, I'm on Craigslist. I was looking for a used couch, but I spelled couch wrong. Coochie. Right? So, so I'm looking. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking, right? And, uh, so, and, and I see my wife. With, uh, my ex-wife with her breast hanging out, you know what I'm saying? And I hadn't seen the breast in a long time, so I didn't know it was her. But then I look in the background, it was black. <laughs> it was black Jesus in the background. I said, this is my house. Man, y'all ain't going to believe what the ad said. The ad hurt my heart. The ad said that she needed the touch of a woman. I put an ad right under it. I said, me too, because, you know... <laughs> And I was, I was a great stepfather to a four kids, y'all, but it was hard because all her kids had ADD. All different daddies. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know how the apple, you said the apple don't fall too far from the tree? They, they daddies with ADD too. All dangerous and deadly, ain't doing deadly, always doing dirt, a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Always the defendant. I'm just trying to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and she used to get mad at me because I get confused and send the wrong kid to the wrong daddy. I couldn't remember the kid's name. Like the daddy comes to the house, like I'm like, number four. Yo, daddy did though. Like, that ain't my daddy. <laughs> I'm just playing. Their daddy's never keen to get them kids. You know. <laughs> That's your time. That's your time. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> boy, you have grown. You have grown, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, man. Um, yo, me now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I learned a lot from you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Coyer. Hey, I call Michael Coyer my my um, comedy granddaddy because uh, I brought he was in a barbershop here in my city in Fulton, Virginia, and I brought him there and um. The people that he looks familiar. I said, that's my granddaddy. They believe me to this day. They be asking how my granddaddy's doing. <laughs> I'm not oh, my God. But I want to send love to your mama. 
Give your mother, yes. mother, mother, mother Let her know the painted, love her. painted hangs in my house. You um, know, and look at the look what Banky Pound gave you. How much love Banky Pound gave you? Man. Oh, I love that. That's a good dude right there, man. He gave me, he gave me the laugh and the punches. <laughs> remember when you started doing comedy? You was working with us and you wasn't shit. Do you remember that? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember me not being being shit. I know you say you don't remember that. You thought you was already there, you know. But no, you were always a great, uh, conscious, and nice person as you learned this craft. So I'm really great. Yes, glad sir. You're getting it down so they can get you. I paper. appreciate you spending the time with me. I love you, man. You're so awesome. You're so awesome. Trust me. Thank on you, that. King. Tell people what we can find you. You can find me on uh, all the uh, different apps, you know what I'm saying, IG and all that. So, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, and my porn site. Oh, no, never mind. It's IG. <laughs> I think it's that. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, comedian.davidkataz. Comedian David Kataz. It's spelled like uh, sucker task, but I'm sucker free. Remember that. You Come know what I'm saying? Man, I love it. <laughs> Leave us with a woo, woo, woo. Woo to the woo, woo, woo. God bless y'all and happy good Friday. Hey, thank you. You made a good Friday even gooder. Thank you, Katash. That boy was good, good engine. Hey, y'all, you know it's not just regular Friday. This is uh, free gas Friday. So, Straya, uh, I am tasking you with a way of thinking about it. When we come back, I want to know how do we give somebody in this audience $50 for gas? Now, they okay. ain't going to be able to do nothing but give you enough Love gas me. so you can drive your way back home from the gas station. But it's a start. Yes, straight. Yes, Katie. If they, if they have a kid, they on a full tank. <laughs> All right, who's up? Up next. Oh, so is Melvin gonna try? Did Melvin figure out his music? Well, he got a voice. Well, shoot, we'll take the voice. This is his new single too. So let me see. I don't see him down there. Do you see him? Oh, it really. This really turning into the voice, like the TV show. <laughs> I'm um, asking you, you yeah. see him, yeah. Bring him on because I don't see him. Oh, I had there he is with that hat. What's hey, up? Melvin, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Melvin, what's your last name, Melvin? Hey, thanks for having me up here. I'm I'm so so glad to be up here for sure. Let me introduce you correctly, ladies and gentlemen. Get your hands together for Melvin Griffin. Melvin Griffin in the house. Woody, woo, woo. Good morning, brother. <laughs> hey, good morning. And you know the thing is, is the crazy thing is I drove almost two hours this morning from my event just to get to my studio so I could play the music, and then the music not working. <laughs> That's crazy. And I so apologize. I can do acapella them. Okay, you can do acapella, but I want to apologize for being rude and moving it along. You know because we have oh, to stop. Oh, not a problem. Time, so it's my bad. Hey, not a problem, man. You know what? It must be meant for this. So hey. I'm, I'm right. Is that the album behind you? Is that the new rock? The new you know what? That is a record. It's called Watch Me Win. I have it. It's on all uh, digital platforms, uh, mm -hmm. and it's actually in them. It's, it's going to be on a Netflix movie. So I'm 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 super Woo! excited about that. But I do have a new single um, coming out in the next uh, thirty days. It's called Speak Life Every Day, and I'm just trying to convey the message that you need to speak life over your life, over your marriage, over your relationship, over your kids, over everything that you have, your money, your career, speak life every day because there's so much power in your mouth. Mm, you are so true, my friend. This Spoken is so word. True. Well, yeah. can we get out the way and you have the Acapulco, huh? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll for sure. We, folks, and we hopefully don't need to do you'll Acapulco. have me back. <laughs> but we have special people like you, though, man. We know your voice is so great. We take a chance. We don't usually fool around with the Acapulco. Yeah. But, brother, thank you. I'm going to get out the way and let's hear your, ma your magical voice. Hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. Melvin Griffin. All right. So the song says, every single morning when I rise, I thank God for opening my eyes great for just to see the morning light even when it rains i see sunshine i'm positive not negative nothing's gonna kill my vibe and optimist my logic is I can change my atmosphere, speak life over my life, 
Speak it over my life. Speak life. Speak life every day. Speak life every night. Bills are due today. Mm. Things I've got to face. But I don't have no doubt that I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay because I'm positive, not negative. Nothing's going to kill my vibe. An optimist, my logic is I can change my atmosphere. Speak life over my life. Speak it over my life. Speak life. Uh, speak life every day, speak life every night. The power, the power of life is in my mouth. 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 The power of life is in my, my mouth. Speak over my life. Speak it over my life. Speak life. Ooh. Speak life every day, speak life every night. The power of life's in my mouth. 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 So I gotta speak life. I've got to speak life, Ooh. oh yeah, speak life every day, speak life every night, speak life. Wow, 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 sir, wow. You know, and, and, and this is a, an interesting time, an important time for you to speak to, to say that. Um, I'm going to, um, unless you guys want to chat in something, I'm going to pull y'all Just a great job. You did a great job. That's all. Thank you so much. Let me you talk to you. I really needed to hear that. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, more people need to hear that than you, than you really imagine. Um, here's here's the thing. We, I'm kind of messed up right now, y'all. So just sort of bear with me. Um, you know, Angel, the lady, uh, the God blessed when her mother just transcended. So we, she just made her transition and we we're going to give love. But in this, in the middle of the show, my wife just called me. One of my best friends just, just transcended. And someone in the, in here already put up Lou Gossett. Oh, died. Wow. and that's my friend, friend, friend. Yeah. And I'm just finding out now. So as I'm hearing you sing speak life, I, I am once again reminded of the importance of life and, and how it, we don't know when it's going in. It's always a surprise. And so we have to really take every moment and treat it like yeah. a great, beautiful, precious gift that it is, you know, and how how beautiful it is that as I'm finding out about my friend's transition, at the same time you're singing of the speaking of life. And so I it meant a lot to me personally. Thank you, King. And you can sing, not sing. Appreciate nothing. it. You can sing, sir. So we send blessings and prayers out to Lou Gossett and his family and to the blessed ones, a mom who made her transition in their family and to you, great King, for bringing this to us and for being patient because you could have went off when I was talking crazy this morning. And yet <laughs> you remain the man of God that you yeah. are. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate, appreciate you. you for the opportunity, man. For sure. I, I didn't see the Lou Gossett thing coming. That that got me. Okay. Oh wait. I love you, man. Tell people how they can get your new album and how they can find you. Okay, so you can find me on um, all my social medias um, at Melvin Griffin Music. It's real simple. Um, or you could go to just Melvin Griffin on Facebook. Um, you can find my music on all platforms, all digital, digital platforms. And this single called Speak Life Every Day, it should be out within, uh, I think the, the launch date is May 1st. 
So within the next 30 to 30 to 40 days, hey, go everyone download it, everyone stream it, and just let's convey the message that you got to speak life every day. You know, speak it, speak it. You got to speak those things that are not as though they were. You know, you got to speak affirmations. It is true, King. Leave us now with a woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's the great Melvin Griffin right here Thank on the you. Michael Thank Kaya Morning Show. Thank you. I just need a moment here to reflect. You know, we're in Atlanta, and you guys know who Lou Gossett is, okay? If you don't know, he was Chicken George and Roots. He, he was on Different World. There's probably a hundred films he's been in. In fact, he's in the newest thing that just came out. He was in Oppenheimer. He's in... The dude is, is just, he was so great. There's so many films. He won his Academy Award for an officer and a gentleman. But for me, he's my genuine friend, you know? And so I was going to see him this weekend because he lives in Atlanta. And when I come to Atlanta, I try to see him. They have a place here called um, uh, South, Kit South City Kitchen. South City Kitchen. It's right across from the Lenox Mall. And he took me there and got me to eat chicken gizzards. I'm like, I'm not eating no damn, the gizzard? Are you really supposed to even eat that part? Are you supposed to bury that part and eat the wings? Anyway, I wasn't about to eat no gizzards. And he insisted we try them and they came out on a bed of grits. And when I tell you tender, delicious and tasty. So I try to go there all the time when I come here. Another quick story about him. We're going to keep moving because I have to end on time. We still got four more people coming on. But listen, um, he lived in Beverly Hills and in, in, in actually Malibu for years, like over 20 years. He had this big, beautiful home. I went to go and see all the African stuff, big property. But the mother people, the people of a little fairer complexion, wanted him out. They wanted that property. People was going to try to pay him just so they could have him out and they could keep their community, you know, the, the complexion that they was really digging. But he held on to it and held on to it. And then about four years ago, he just felt like, you know, it's time to move. And he got up and moved, packed his things, moved to Atlanta. Eight days after he moved, the house burnt to the ground. Malibu caught on fire. And his house burnt to the ground. They were trying to offer him 2.1 for the house. He had 3.8 million to move. And once he moved, the community burnt down. I just thought, wow, how awesome and wild and beautiful was that? And then he bought a place here where he had a church on his property and a river that ran through it. So we love you, love you, love you, Lou Gossett. We send you off with light, joy, peace, and power. God bless you real good. We're burning candles for you today. Now, we got to keep moving. Rashida, the teacher, is here. Rashida, the teacher. What do you mean? Well, first of all, I love teachers. Teachers are my heroes. Teachers are the adults who spend the most quality time with you besides your mom and your daddy. So they also, everybody knows at least one teacher in their lives who have changed their life, not because they taught you facts and stuff to remember, but because of something they taught you about life that made you feel good about yourself. This woman is a teacher and she's up for a teacher's award. Uh, Educators Award. I want I want to show you that first before I bring her on and hear it out. Pow! Well, I want y'all to vote for her for uh, America's favorite teacher. She's in fourth place right now. We got to get the vote stand. Let's bring her on right now and find out what she's talking about. Rashida, the teacher. Where you at, Mama? Hey, Rashida, the teacher. Oh my God! <laughs> you have my first book behind you. That's when I first met you in person, and I bought it, and I read it to my class, and they loved it. Oh my At the goodness. time, Barack Obama was the president, so you sparked I something love within one of my students. So, yes, sir. Thank you, Rashida. Thank you for being a teacher, and I believe you're probably a great one. You seem like you're serious about it. I love my students. They are my kids, uh, even though mm -hmm. I don't have my own offspring they are mine. Some have even told me that I can't have any yet until they graduate high school. So, <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Well, well, so how do you get to be number one as a teacher? What, uh, what kind of voting do we do? How do we get you in? Um, so daily, first of all, there are several rounds, and this is the first round. Every okay. day you can vote with, through that QR code or the link um, for America's favorite teacher. You can get one free vote every day. If you choose to vote more, they will take your funds as a donation to Teach for America. So that's the way that you can vote for me and help me bless our children. Yay. So what is your strongest topic? 
Mathematics. I teach six, seven, and eighth grade math. Um, and of course, our kids come with math phobias. And so my goal is to break the phobia. Like we love money. So you got to love math. There it is. I wish somebody told me that. I hated math. You know, people are usually big, they either love math or they love writing. They love, you know, reading and writing. It's usually one or two. Rarely are people strong in both. I'm really strong in words. I need nine people to count stuff for me. I can't count anything because I did not like math. The reason um, I didn't get my degree at Chicago State University is I'm still missing two classes. And one is, is a, a calculus three uh, and the other one is, ah, I can't even think of it, but ran me the hell out there with them numbers. So you love numbers? I do. I always have. And then my older brother is like a super math whiz. What? So I feel like that helped me love it even more. So that's my wow. favorite subject. Math and science are my favorite subjects, but they go hand in hand. So it, yes. they do. you're going to be a great mom when you do get your kids because you have that wisdom. You know how to talk to them and you're sweet. What is one thing you want people to know about you so they can go on both? One thing you would know about you as a person and a teacher. Um, I love my children. My goal is for me to make sure that every kid hones their superpower, whatever that may be. So that's my goal to be able to help them extract whatever God gave them as a gift and to help them realize that they bring something to the world. So that's why I hope you guys vote for me, particularly our children. You know, it's challenging loving our kids, but somebody has to love them so they can recognize their brilliance. And that's my goal. Paulette, uh, Elder Paulette said, you smart because I hated math. <laughs> I, I hated math, but the thing is, don't hate it. If you can get people to just understand the love for it, then your mind opens easier for you to learn it. I wish I had been more like that, but at least I have a couple of dollars so I can pay people to count my money for me because <laughs> I be messing up them numbers. We love you and appreciate you. I'm going to put this up one more time so people know exactly what to do, where to go. And y'all can have, actually snap a picture of that, okay? And then that way you can hit that QR code. And if you just drop every day, y'all just sitting around. house. Y'all ain't doing nothing, sitting on the edge of the bed watching TV. Y'all can just lean over, boop, boop, hit that thing every day. Let's get her voted up to number one. She's in fourth place now, you said? Yes, sir. Well, get it on to the top. We love you and we appreciate you. Thank Rashida, you. Rashida Chapman, can you leave us with a woo, woo, woo? Woo, woo, woo. Love it, love it. Hey, y'all, it's the Michael Kaya Morning Show, and she's the teacher. Teach me tonight. Hey, coming up next, Red Writing Hood. Not Riding Hood, Red Writing Hood, a great word. Matter of fact, Katie, come on on here and bring this lovely lady on. Uh, her name is, I don't know the real name. We gonna find out, Red Writing Hood. Good. Bring on. Okay. I Yay! <laughs> How are you this good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm wonderful. How are you? <laughs> I am great. I'm loving your red and the Thank little you. you behind you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, beautiful. Hi. Mm, so so <laughs> you were you were recommended by Georgia Me, huh? Yes, yes. That is one of my dear friends. I love her to death and I had no clue until I called you back that day. And I'm just, you know, you think it's scam likely and I, I just totally missed the call. <laughs> you said just... you think it's scam likely. <laughs> no, you know? because I don't know nobody out west now. <laughs> I've been out there before. <laughs> I'm but, glad. you know, yeah, I had to call you back. I heard that voice now. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. So thank now, you what type of me. stuff do you write about? Well, typically, uh, I write about um, the things that I've experienced as a woman uh, mm -hmm. in today's time. You know, uh, single motherhood, domestic violence, uh, relationships, um, mm. and typically, you know, empowering mm. our women. Yeah. So <laughs> empowering our women is a great for today. What did you bring for today? Well, today, um, you know, I, I've heard heard you guys talking earlier, and um, congratulations to you on your marriage. Uh, Thank um, you. Yes. Uh, one of the poems that I'm most known for is called Let's Do Everything But Get Married. <laughs> I know, I, 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 listen, I know how it sounds. 
Do, do you, you have that? I do have it, and I'm ready. <laughs> May we? Let me get out the way. Let me everything but get married. What the heck is he talking about? Okay, all right. All right, here we go. Let's do everything but get married. Let's go out on dates around eight for two weeks straight, then realize we're soulmates. Create fate based on how well we can relate gates swinging, neither one of us thinking about what we really want from this. Light bulb, got it, let's have sex too soon and leave no room for us to get to know each other. One month goes by, you're already introduced to my father and mother, both of my brothers. By now, we're already lovers, which means covers are blown and the interest he once had is officially gone. Let's do everything but get married invited this man to meet your family. As if you're in blissful love, when you're in lustful bliss, your mouth introduced him to them, but what your conscience really said was this, hey dad, let me introduce you to the mistake I'm about to make. Hey mom, let me introduce you to my new boyfriend who is really just a friendly boy who never grew out of playing with his toys that will eventually end up calling me private and hanging up calling me and hanging up until she's woman enough to discuss with me. What well, I didn't take time to find out, but there's just something about him that makes me wanna invest in his mess. Let's do everything but get married. My kids have fun with him. We all go out to lunch and then Chuck E. Cheese, we get back to my home. He pulls out his own set of keys. Somebody please help me understand this shit. This new world order of courting just ain't the same no more. When a nigga you barely even know could walk in and out your front door where our children lay their heads. He could be under investigation by the feds. Heads up, tails tucked now. Cause you don't even know how you allowed your comfort level to get so damn high this damn soon message. In a bottle, he's not even a good role model for the kids. Gee whiz, bid whiz, I'm um, pulling Trump with this one. Let's do everything but get married. We might as well, hell, everyone else is doing it. And I don't want to start asking questions on where this is going because I don't want to ruin it. I mean, we talk about marriage and I guess that's close enough. See, men cringe at the thought of forever and we know this. So women have gotten so content with halfway having a piece of man to where their demands ain't much of nothing no more. Rather be his whore and everything he needs as long as he's saying thank you and please scared to run him away or that he may find someone else that is okay with his temporary stay. But let's do everything but get married. I'm carrying his baby. And the negative response he gave me from the positive reaction from peeing on this stick just doesn't seem to mix well. I don't feel well. Should have thrown up the deuce when I had the chance to, but no, I've advanced to. Baby mama status should have walked out on the first date in Palm Beach on Clematis, but at least now he calls me wifey because I got his child, but that's not the same as actually exchanging vows now, is it? Let's do everything but get married. We ain't got no money for no damn wedding, he says. Why are you in such a rush? She says the same reason you was in the rush to have sex and shack up, I've met your demand. So now you need to meet mine. We got kids, we live together. And ain't trying to live like this forever without no ring. Also, oh, now you conveniently bring up my mood swings during my pregnancy and use that to say that I pushed you away when what that should have done was brought you closer to me. But if we ain't getting married, then it's over for me. But she don't want that. See, she hope he's so scared to lose her that he'll just give in and steady screams. Yes, we did all those things. Yes, in the first month we had sex. Yes, we end up having a baby and that made things even more complex. But you're taking all those things out of context and I don't clear how much you reflect technically. I don't owe you shit because we ain't married. Thank you. Uh <laughs> My Lord, my Lord, you, you went in deep with that one right there, didn't you? Oh, you did not put my life on glass like that. <laughs> but wait, look, my favorite line is, let me introduce you to the mistake I'm about to make. <laughs> <laughs> that was killer. Yeah, thank so you so wonderful. much. Do thank you, have you. Books, you have books out yet? Um, I, I have uh, coloring, book, coloring books for our young brown girls on Amazon.com. So if you go on Amazon and you type in Red Riding Hood, just like it's spelled, and uh, you look for the coloring books, they're there. And I also have a Queen's Journal um, um, available on Amazon as well. So just oh. type in Red Riding Hood, look for the journal, look for we, the coloring books. 
<laughs> yes. All right. Tell people how to find you. You can find me on all major platforms as Red Riding Hood, just like it's spelled. And I also have a poem streaming right now on all major platforms as well. Oh, God bless you. You're very God happy. bless you, That's too. Nice. Thank, Thank you, you so what city, much. What city are you in? I'm in Dade County. I'm in Miami. In Miami? <laughs> yes, Miami, Florida. <laughs> well, God bless you. I'm on here God with three bless you as well. God Thank bless you so you. much. Happy Women's Month, Queen. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. You Thank you beautiful. so much. Thank right. you for having so, me, Mr. Collier. Then leave us with a woo, woo, woo. <gasps> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Give it up, y'all. Red Riding Hood. She can write and she can spit it, too. God is great. Hey, y'all, listen, if my main man, 100 grand, is here. we only got two parts left to the show because we stop, we stopping on time today, right at the top of the hour. Bishop Vance Ho Olds, who incidentally um, presided over our wedding, uh, is here to do our prayer. And then we end with uh, Angela Michelle of Culinary Kisses. Our girl is not here today, Malira. But we talked. It's love. She had to go do another thing. But she will be back next Friday. She's excited about it. I do have to tell you this real quick. Let me see if I threw it up or not. It is also, it's also her birthday next week. Uh -huh. And people are going to be celebrating her birthday. I don't think and I She might it. be hanging out with me, boss. But this is not her. I'm just saying. Um, she will... <laughs> Balls, That's girl. Not, I I had I put I put the picture together. I thought they, I think they brought it back down. Doggone it! I it's got okay. everybody sticking their tongue out. This is ridiculous. Everybody's doing it. Something okay, is right. going, something <laughs> is going on with all type of stuff because I kid you not, I see you and Katie, but my screen is black. Like I know that you guys may see me. But it's not I don't, black. You just dark skinned it. No, no, I, I kid, <laughs> no, I kid you not. I took two pictures because I knew that you and Michael was gonna say, "No, that's just your camera." But I can't see myself. Boss, that's but I can't see right there. I miss the little girl. Never mind. No, is this Bishop here with the hat? Bishop who? Bishop Van's old. No, dude. <laughs> I'm <laughs> playing with you. Good. This this guy was the ringleader. Him and Zeke. This his name is Casual Cal, and Casual Cal was like the flyest dresser you ever saw anywhere. And it was him and Zeke running the circus for years. I just threw that picture up. Okay, let me quit playing. Uh, uh, bring on the wonderful, the awesome, and my great friend, Bishop O. Bishop B. O. Oh, oh, in the house. Hey, he be hey, how you doing, King? I'm wonderful. Good morning to everybody. How's Good everybody? morning. Yeah, they're good. Oh, Bishop, man. can I just say one thing? It's not nothing out of like, just what do you do with your old clothes? <laughs> can I have one of your old jackets? Okay, take me down. Okay, just pray for me. I'm <laughs> what you do with your old clothes. What do you do with your old clothes? All right. So listen, thank you again for performing the greatest wedding in the history of I do. In fact, if y'all haven't seen the Michael Collier wedding, you ain't got to do nothing but go to YouTube and put in the Michael Collier wedding and you're going to see excellence off the chain. Your 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 ministering of it was so good. Your your energy, your joy, your positivity that comes through. And I, I know in the forefront is God, but all that other good stuff comes through you through that sifter or that filter known as God. And then we end up getting the wonderful you. How are you, sir? I'm good. How you doing? I'm great. You sitting here looking like my young twin. <laughs> <laughs> and how's, how's your wife? She's wonderful. She's wonderful. Keep her in prayer. We're doing I, I will. I will keep her in prayer. You know, my great friend just died today. Um, yeah. Lou, Ga Lou Gossett. So Lou Gossett transcended. Uh, he, he, I, nah, he with God, so he cool now. So we pray for his family and, and their feelings as well as we pray for the blessed one whose sure. mother transcended as well. And I'm going to get out the way and let you bless up with some of that goodness. God is great. You know, people like to say God is good, but I say chicken is good and God is great. Okay, see you in a minute. Eternal Father, our God, we thank you because you are omnipotent, you're omniscient, you know all things, you're all powerful. And God, we love you because you first loved us. This is a day, God, we've never seen, a day that we never see again. 
And we pray, God, that those that are listening and watching all over the world, that the rest of their day will be the best of their day, that we will maximize every moment that you afforded us to live. God, we know that life is given unto you and you give us life. And you said you have given us abundant life if only we will receive. I thank you, Lord God, even right now for forgiving us for all of our sins, washing us from all of our unrighteousness, purging us from our iniquities and blotting out our transgressions. You said, God, if we fess up, when we mess up, you'll clean us up. So thank you for cleaning us and giving us a brand new day. But the word of God says there's new mercies every morning. So, Father, thank you for grace and thank you for mercy. We thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your favor. We thank you, Lord God, for what you've already done in us, through us, by us, and with us. And we have great expectation for what you're going to do around the corner. Now, bless our children. Bless our children's children. Bless our businesses. God, I speak life over every individual that's listening, that's watching even now. I pray, God, that you will send overflow more than enough. God, we need more than enough because just enough ain't good enough. So give us overflow and we give you praise. We thank you for what you've already done. Now, God, we give you praise for what you're going to do because we have faith that you're going to do it again. Thank you, God, for doing it over and over and over and over again. What you did then, you surely can do it again. We thank you for my brother Michael, his beautiful wife, his, his partners, his business partners. God, I pray that you will open up something so awesome, God, that was blow his mind again and again. This is your servant's prayer, and we thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen, amen, amen. I mean, I say, boom, shakalaka. In the famous words of those of us who call ourselves the Kaya clan, Woo, woo, woo. What a great prayer, man. You're that a prayer warrior, sir. Fantastic prayer. I love you so much, my friend. Thank you. Uh, Straya, did you come up with it? Yeah, but he never said, I did come up with it, but he never said if I could have, I mean, what he do with his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> he never said nothing. I, I give you my address offline. Okay. Cause I met you and your wife, so it's okay. I can just take a couple of little jackets. I love it. You be so fly. So thank you, thank you, uh, Bishop O's. I appreciate you popping in. I love you so much. We running on this show because we got to go to radio. And I hope Katie heard me say we have to go to radio. You have to be on radio with me this morning. You're on the show today. So we're both leaving for radio. As soon as this, I'll swing by and grab you. I see your hotel wave at me. There you go. Hey. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm poor, so I'm over here. He's over there. <laughs> so to make it quick and easy, I was trying to come up with a fancy way to do this, but Straya, can you just pick a number? Let's do it that way. Uh, and you can get in on this, Bishop O's. You can get fifty dollars right now. Okay. Whoever gets this number is getting fifty dollars because it's free gas Friday. So you got some gas money. Some of y'all already yeah. got gas. And you I don't have nothing to do with your car. Here. Excuse me. I, you messed up a joke talking over it. What'd you say? I hope Bishop always win, but he can give me ten dollars to get my taxes. <laughs> he look like he don't even need that fifty dollars. His jacket costs three fifty, four fifty dollars, five fifty dollars. All right, okay, y'all. We're gonna give you the numbers now. You got to give them a number between something and something. And, I got and, it. and Bishop, if you want to jet off, I can take you down so you can keep it moving. All right, love you. I love you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop Vance Olds. I love you. Hug your wife for me. All right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, we're going to do this number, then we bring in Angela Michelle. She's going to have to do her thing in like five minutes, so she better lay it out. In fact, this is what Angela Michelle has co is cooking this morning. I start out with your dish right there so I can see it, and now I do not. Damn it to hell. Okay, all right. <laughs> he would say that after the preacher just left.
Michelle said, Angela Michelle's going to be preparing this meal. She's going to show you probably the endings of it. We only got a few minutes, but first, I need you to tell them what the numbers are between, and y'all going to have a 10-second countdown, and whoever is the closest to the number she said, you're going to win that $50 cash. But you have to have either a Zelle or you have to have a, a cash app, and you got to put it up right after you win so we can get it to you today. Yes, Katie? And they only can put the number up once. If you put it up twice, you're disqualified because I'm not that smart. I can't watch the numbers. Like if you put it up twice or if you put up two numbers, you're disqualified. You get one Yes. Okay. What's the numbers between? The numbers are between 10 and 30. Between, that's easy. Between 10 and 30, y'all can start now as I caught, do my countdown. 10. Oh, and I'm going to write it now so they won't think that I'm lying. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. I'm going to tell you who we cutting it off at. We cutting it off, y'all. I know some numbers come after you push the button, but I'm sorry. We cutting it off now. It's already done. The last one that I'm uh, recognizing is T-Mac. T-Mac. But it wouldn't matter anyway because somebody before you said that same number, so they're going to beat you at that T-Mac. Okay. And Paul, let's say she meant to say 25. Okay. Are you ready with your number? What is the winning number for $50? Hold it up. 20. That is really good. I don't think anybody would have guessed 20 because everybody's like, he ain't going to say 20. Ooh, I think this 19 is the closest, but the first 19 is not T-Mac. The first 19 is Sabrina is Super Now. Super Now. Uh, I'm looking, guys. I want to make sure there ain't no trouble before I go away. There are no 20s. There, there's, there's a 19. And 19, there's a 21. And there's a 21. And the 19, sorry, Bal, actually dropped before the 21. They both won away, but the first one was Sabrina Supernail, Supernail, whatever. So, girl, what you need to do, you are a wiener. I mean, a winner. You're a winner. So, what you need to do is put up how I send it to you. Either your Dell or your Cash App. Katie, it's your job. And she's the I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? She's won before Sabrina. You know my DM. Send it to me right now. I'll get it to you today. Beautiful. I'm so glad Ro just didn't win again. He get on my damn nerves. Again. I got scared. Oh my God. Cheapers. Okay, we'll have time. Gotta go. Get to Angela with the culinary kisses. We love her, but we love her food, but we love her even more. Her personality, her style, her light, her joy is simply delicious. Get your hands together for the wonderful chef Angela Michelle, culinary kisses. Woody woo woo. Woo! Good morning. How you doing? Oh, great. What is that? That looks like a pork chop. It is a pork chop. Wait a minute, you didn't say you was cooking no pork chop. You showed me something else, girl. <laughs> no, you called me last night when I was getting ready to teach a class. So I was showing you what we made in class. Oh, this is what you made in class? Yes. Oh, child, I thought you meant that's what you was cooking today. So today I see no. the pork chop. What else you got in there? Yes, so a lot of people always ask me, what is the secret to cooking a good pork chop? And even though I hardly ever cook it, my husband loves pork chops, right? So this is what I do real quick and simple. So I'm going to bring you guys over here so you can see. I have applesauce, some homemade applesauce. We have mashed potatoes. See the mashed potatoes. And we have beans. But this is the secret to pork chops. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to season them that's the key is the seasoning so i have a bunch of different spices here and i'll be like oh i want to use the the spice mix that starts with the letter l right <laughs> but what we're doing is we're mixing together our own so we have salt pepper marjoram um celery mm -hmm. garlic onion and you just mix all that together and you come up with a very flavorful way to do pork chops so you mm. literally just put that on both sides, kind of pat it in so it stays on there, flip that baby over, 
put some on the other side. And you know, you can be a little liberal with it because you're controlling your own salt. So it, right? it, it, is it okay to beat the meat? I'm not for real. I'm not for real. <laughs> uh, I mean, I knew he was gonna laugh. <laughs> this is this is no longer a family show. No, it is not a <laughs> in cooking. I don't well, think she in only let us got twelve seconds into the to the no family show before she said. Oh, I know. But actually, <laughs> actually, but wait, actually, beating your meat is actually done. It's something we do. It. They have a pounder just for that. It's a it's a square hammer. And you beat your meat. You don't want to beat it hard like that, though. But you beat it, you know, and that tenderizes it. And See, no, she got it. Look, she's got one. She got a metal one. Now, yes. most fellas, you look at that. You think you don't want nobody beating your meat with that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> okay. <all right. laughs> we are going to hell on oh, a so single wrong. file line. Okay, here we go. So, all right, go ahead. So, you have the, the pork chops. You got what else? Yeah, so actually, yeah, you're right. This is a uh, tenderizer. It is uh, mild and then a more tenderizer. So you can use this on uh, something like um, chicken breast, because chicken breast has a tendency to be a little tough sometimes if you don't cook it right. But for the pork chicken, chops, chicken don't, don't really have breast. Chicken have chest. Uh, you can say chicken tits, <laughs> but you can't chicken say chest. chicken breast, because no chicken has ever breastfed. Another oh. chicken. If you oh. see a oh. chicken breastfeeding oh. a chicken, please call me somebody. <laughs> all right. So all I did was peel, dice, and um, boil my potatoes in mm. water and a little bit of cream. But here's the thing, guys. You guys mm. know I use vegan, so vegan cream, my plant-based cream that I use, and here's my okay. butter that I use. They squeezing butter out of a leaf. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> so all I want to do is mash these babies up until they're nice and soft and fluffy. Oof. And I'm using this. Right? Got to use a potato masher for that. And then I'm going to add my cream and my butter. And you see it, it looks and moves just like real, quote unquote, real cream, right? Uh-huh. But it ain't. You know it ain't. You ain't fooling nobody. It ain't. It ain't. Yeah, uh huh. I bet. <laughs> I bet we know that. real cream when we see it, lady. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like real cream, man. I promise you. So I'm seasoning with salt and pepper. A little salt, a little pepper on my beans and my potatoes. Potatoes need a little more love. Now, I like to spiffy up my beans. So I'm gonna spiff them up with these colors. Spiff them, girl. Spiff them. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That goes right in there with the with the green bean. Mm. Toss that, that right good. Out, add a little veggie broth if you want. Now I don't like my vegetables mushy, so I don't Me cook neither. them a long time. I don't like them mushy, but I don't like them too hard either. Sometimes yeah, people like, oh, you want your you want your vegetables to be crunchy. I don't want my vegetable crunchy. Yeah. Right, right in the middle. Just in between. Hey, guys, I'm going to be late for radio. I'm going to have to get out of here. What we're going to do is I'm leaving now. I love you so much. Thank you for coming. Uh, Straya, you ain't going nowhere. You close in the show. Cool. And thank you, Straya. And Straya, can you sing and stuff when you close the show? Can Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm going to run, and then I'm going to call you in five minutes, Katie, so you'll tell me where I'm picking you up from. And then I'm going to drive by and get you, and we're heading to the radio. I'm going to you so you don't got to call me, because I don't like when you call me. You're mean. Bye. Oh, doggone it. Ooh, what's that? Polenta? <laughs> no, that's potatoes. Those are potatoes. Yeah. They look good. They do. With my vegan cream and my vegan butter. Oh, she tricked us. Got to go. I love you. <laughs> Gotta go. Everybody have a great love weekend. You. I'm going to talk to y'all Monday, but stick around. See Angela finishes. 
Thank you again, Red Riding Hood, for staying through the whole show. I see you enjoying yourself and laughing the whole time. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> hey, everybody, be good to yourself. It's Easter. You know, if you can't find no other reason, remember, man, Jesus came back after three days. You can handle some hard times in your life, but you can come back too. Just keep God first. And we're going to see y'all Monday morning, crack of dawn, telling jokes and being silly. I'm going to see y'all later. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, finish up, Angela. All right, my darling. So I have my pork chops here searing. I'm going to put them in the oven. We're going to stick these babies in the oven and let them finish off in there. And it doesn't take that long, right? So we turn that off, turn that off. Our green beans are already done. And our, here, come in on a close-up on the green beans. Can you see that? It looks so good. And then our mashed potatoes are already done. So that's complete. Now I want to finish up my applesauce and then we're going to pull all this together. So there's the mashed potatoes. It looks so delicious. That's a $70 meal right there. Girl. <laughs> and with the, with the uh, potatoes, all or excuse me, the apples, all I did was peel them and cut them up, put them in a pan, a little bit of water and let them get really soft. And I'm using my baby potato masher to just mash them up, that's it. So let's hook this up a little bit. Let's get a little bit of lemon juice in here. Just a little squeeze of lemon juice. You don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in here. You like cinnamon in your applesauce? I like cinnamon, period. Okay, there we go, a little cinnamon in them. And I'm also gonna put organic cane sugar. Oh. Organic cane sugar. So let's get that in there. And you can add as much or as little as you like. It's completely up to you. Now, I did use apples that are more on the sweet side also. Okay. Right? I did not use sour apples. And I see a couple of seeds got in there. So let me dig those babies out. That's good there because my son loves applesauce. So I can make it myself now. Yes, you can. This seed, there we, oh, there we go. I got it. And then just mix this together. And your homemade applesauce is done. So I actually had one of the pork chops already searing. Mm -hmm. So it's already done. I'm going to show you how to plate this. And it's going to be a fabulous meal, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. There's our homemade applesauce, guys. Look at that. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. So let me turn this off. Oh, there's a piece that I missed. I'm gonna. Oh my god, <laughs> so good! So, let me get the one that was already seared out of the oven, and we're gonna plate this so I can show you guys what it's gonna look like. Any questions, Straya? Um, uh, no, not I mean, I don't eat pork, so this is good. This is still informative that I would know how to, you know, make it if I had a man, you know, I could do it, but. Who like pork, but I don't eat yeah. pork, so but yeah, I, I, mean, I, I learned how to make applesauce, so yes, yes. And here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna put my little plug in here. There's only literally there's only one store that I buy pork from because I know it's clean and I know the animals fed well and all that good stuff. So I'm not gonna put them on blast, but I don't eat pork from anywhere, and I can count on one hand how many times I eat it a year maybe two to three times and like i said my husband likes pork so i'll cook it for him and then you know i'll go and eat a salad <laughs> all right so i have my bowl here like a little shallow bowl i'm gonna go ahead and plate this dish so first we're gonna start with our taters we're gonna get a we cannot little end little the show without hank coming to get this plate what'd you say girl we can't end the show without hank coming to get the plate once it's made I know, right? And I've already yeah. given him breakfast, so he's gonna be like, "What on earth?" So those are the mashed potatoes. And if you want to put some more butter on here, feel free to do so. It's up to you. I'm gonna get my green beans on here, and I like to make it so I can see the little peppers and stuff on top. Yes. Like, I want to make it look cute. Yes, love to eat colors. Yes. So there are the green beans. Now, this is the pork chop that I started earlier today. 
And this guy is already done, nicely seared. I'm gonna put him right on top of my plate. And I'm just gonna anchor him right on top of the mashed potatoes. All right, last but not least, we need some applesauce on here. So I'm gonna put that right on top of the pork chop. Oh, wow, really? Yes, girl, yes. And let me get a few more beans on here just to fill this bowl out a little bit. Oh my goodness, I got good news for you. I have a juicer. Yeah. You got what? A juicer, a ninja juicer. Shut up. Yes, I knew I had something to tell you. Yes, I got a juicer. What? Okay, so when are we juicing? I was just about to say, well, I gotta go to the grocery store. Okay. Okay. That okay. looks amazing, Chef so Angela. This is it. Let me show you guys down here. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah, with the applesauce. That look every bit worth seventy dollars, seventy-eight dollars. That's what you pay for this. Seventy-eight dollars. Yes, ma'am. That's what, what that'll cost on my menu. Is that with the tip or without the tip? Without the tip. That's just what the that's that's just the entree dish, pork chop, what? apple. Look, you know, you have to make it sound really good. So you would say pork chop covered with applesauce and then, you know, um, the green, fresh green beans with peppers with the mashed potato. I love that. I love that. And you can literally say, you can say clean or vegan mashed potatoes, plant-based, well, the meat ain't plant-based, but everything else is. Vegan, <laughs> vegan mashed potatoes. With a big old pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. Okay, where Hank can? Uh, he upstairs. Yeah, he in his office. I don't know if he's. Well, that's okay. I'm glad. Talking. Did you like the tribute that I made to all of you good women? Oh my God, girl! So you know, I saw it because it popped up. Um, I got a notification, so I'm like, okay, we're straight talking about it. And I look. I was literally sitting on the couch crying. I'm like, why did she do that? Oh my God. And if I would have sent more pictures, at least we went with you and Hank. I definitely would have put it up, but it's okay. Again, it was just the message was to, you know, it was heartfelt. I'm appreciative of everybody on the show. Um, my tenure with this show has been nothing but me growing in a better direction, better me. So I'm just appreciative. Like I said, I really meant you taught me patience. So I'm just happy and appreciative. Oh, I seen his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you are so beautiful and you have been an absolute amazing, bright light, shining star, beautiful soul. And I count it a blessing to know you and call you friend. You are absolutely fabulous, girl. Absolutely Thank fabulous. You. Don't worry, it's coming. The big bucks coming, and I'm not gonna forget about you. I ain't gonna forget about you either, because when I come to the moon, guess who I'm calling? me well guys since hank came and got the plate we're about to end the show i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful fantastic weekend he says sing but i'm I, i'm not gonna sing that i'm not i'm gonna sing i wanna thank you for the happiness to shine your light on me <laughs> it makes me happy i don't know the words all the way so very happy <laughs> yeah, but I want everybody to be very happy. Have a fantastic weekend. Weekend, your um, Easter. Make sure you do something, uh, something good, something different. Do something different this weekend, and keep grinding and shining. I don't have much to say because I'm happy. You see the smile on my face. I love, Bye, it. I love it. Bye, call your clan. Woo woo woo. Okay, I got it. Press the okay. <laughs>
Now I have entered, and now all I have to do is hit end, and it should be all over, bro. That, that should have stopped it right there. Is it ended or not? Oh, I thought you were looking right now. Because it's still saying end. 